so we are in Puno. We're at the train station and we're going to be taking the train to Cusco. So here is the train. It's called the Andean Explorer and the train ride takes about 10 and a half hours. So it's a really long train ride and the train goes really slow. I think it doesn't go above 45 kilometers an hour. So we'll have lots of time to see the scenery and such. Here is the bar car. And then at the back, we have the open carriage. Juliaca. Raya and there's a little market and a church and this is the train. We have arrived in Cusco and I am feeling horrible right now. I have kind of a bad cold. I wasn't feeling that bad, but today on the train, I was just sniffling and blowing my nose the entire time. I just took some allergy medication because I don't have any cold and flu stuff. So I'm hoping that will at least help um, the symptoms of my cold, so we'll see. But my eyes are all red, my nose is all red, and Oh, I'm just feeling all out of sorts, but we are safely in Cusco and I'm really really excited to be here. We're gonna be here the longest portion of our trip So we're gonna be here for three nights and then we're gonna be hiking the Inca Trail So thank goodness I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be over this cold by the time we start the Inca Trail So hopefully knock on wood my husband doesn't get sick I've been trying to kind of stay away from him and you know just not pass it to him 
So, <clears throat> Hotel Torre Dorada. My Spanish is horrible, but they are so, so nice. It is out of Cusco Center though, so we're gonna be taking um, a kind of shuttle service or car service that they provide. It does cost money, but it's pretty inexpensive. So we're just gonna do that because we have dinner reservations and um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a really good night's rest. The altitude isn't bothering me as much here because we're a little bit lower. We're, I think, at 10,800 feet. Last night I had a lot of trouble breathing. I woke up a few times gasping for breath. I don't know if it was the altitude or the cold. It was probably a combination of both because I couldn't breathe through my nose and I still can't. But anyway, let me flip you guys around and show you the room. So the door behind me is the door that we came in through. My husband's in the washroom at the moment, so I won't show you that, but it's pretty standard. And we have a huge king size bed. We have a big window. Not sure what's out there because it is dark already. Then we just have a closet with a safe and a TV. And that is basically it. We are in downtown Cusco now. We're at the main plaza. The plaza's a lot bigger than I expected and it is freezing. I'm so cold, I'm shivering right now. My hubby's putting on his hood. And yeah, we're about to head to dinner, but we thought we would have a quick peek before hopping into the restaurant. Neither of us is really hungry, but we made the reservation, so we figured we would go and have a bite. But anyway, I'm shivering, so I'm gonna put you guys down now. This is our view. We are on the second floor, and we have a view of the courtyard of our hotel, and there is a really cute mural of an alpaca in the background. We are on our way to downtown Cusco and we are walking it today. It's gonna take us probably around 40 minutes. We got so lost on the way over, but we managed to get here just a few minutes late and uh, we made it for the free walking tour. We thought we were gonna miss it, but they left a few minutes late, so here we are. Here is the main square in the daytime. We were here last night for dinner. And it is so beautiful here. I really love it. <laughs> this dog is following us. He lives in the main square and apparently he likes to follow tourists. So cute. Oh, is he gonna cross with us? I don't think you're supposed to cross. How are you gonna get back? I know that the master is here. You're so silly. <laughs> went to the alpaca expeditions office to check in for the Inca trail we just had to show our passports and such and now we're gonna be doing a self-guided walking tour my hubby's favorite I printed something off but yeah. the map wasn't working for some reason so I don't have a map so we're just gonna guess at the locations I think I know the starting point and then we're just gonna go from there here is the first stop on the self-guided walking tour this is the Church of San Blas this is the 12 sided stone that's in front of me here. And this is a street of artisans. So many weddings today. This is the third one that we're seeing. So, in front of me here, well, there's a couple in front of the other couple getting married. But you can see her white dress, and uh, they're just having their photos taken right now. So beautiful, this city. We are at a local restaurant called Greens Organic and my boss actually recommended this place to us. I ordered this green smoothie which is hmm, a 
don't remember, but it has avocado, banana, and my hubby ordered the mango pineapple smoothie. They have stainless steel straws. For our late lunch today, I'm having the quinoa soup. And I'm also having a side dish of lentils. There are a ton of lentils here. My hubby ordered the Thai chicken. So it is now Sunday and we are at the artisan market. My husband wants to look for a sweater for our trek because I think he's afraid he didn't bring enough warm clothing. So we're just gonna have a look around before lunch. And I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm still a little bit congested, but um, my nose has started to peel from blowing it all the time. So I think that's a sign that I'm getting better. So we are all done at the market. I didn't really feel comfortable filming while we were shopping and stuff. So I don't have any footage of that, but we were successful. We bought a few souvenirs. The prices were really reasonable. The haggling went off without a hitch. Everyone there was really nice and really polite, not pushy at all. And the three stalls that we stopped at, we bought things from each of them, so it was really, really good. There's some sort of parade going on here, because there's a ton of people watching, and uh, it's like a marching band of some sort. If I can zoom you guys in. So many people! Okay, we better get to our lunch reservation. House and I are gonna be having lunch at the Pre-Columbian Art Museum. The cafe is in the courtyard in this glass box. I'm really, really excited to eat here. Here the food is amazing, so. For the first ones, we got an early reservation because um, we're gonna be starting the Inca Trail tomorrow. So, we're gonna be having a very, very early dinner. So we got to choose our table because we're the first ones here. We decided to sit in the box and we got a beautiful spot right in front of the fountain. So nice here. The drinks here are so good. We're not drinking alcohol because of the altitude and we're also preparing for the hike. So these are virgin cocktails or mocktails. So we just finished lunch and it was so good. The food was beautiful, very artistic and everything was super tasty. The service was excellent. I ordered a really nice light meal. So I am very, very happy. I had a gazpacho and then my husband and I shared another appetizer. It was the tiradito, which is basically uh, like a sashimi style fish but with sauces and stuff on it and then my hubby got the white truffle cannelloni and he loved it he loves truffle and then for dessert we got a couple of beautiful desserts that were also delicious so he's wearing his new sweater because it got a little bit chilly it was raining he only paid 35 solas, which works out to less than $16. Right now he is photographing this dog. I think it's the same dog from the walking tour yesterday, but he's wearing a different sweater. I'm 99% sure it's the same dog. This hotel is really neat because there's a sitting area on each floor and on this particular floor there are five rooms that share this area. We haven't really seen anyone lounging about but my favorite part of this room is the tea station. So there's a hot water that's always full and there are a whole bunch of different teas. I've only been drinking the mate de coca because of the altitude. It's supposed to help with it. It's just really really convenient to have this here. I also love the artwork that's in this hotel. This particular painting is so cute with the little girl and of course the little puppy. We're gonna be heading to our pre-trek briefing but we are exploring this area. There's this archway here and there are a ton of people in this market area and in this square here. So I think we're gonna head back to the main plaza see if we can pick up some supplies for tomorrow. We just finished our briefing at Alpaca Expeditions and we're gonna go to Greens Organic again for dinner, but there is a huge demonstration behind us. This street is actually completely blocked off. This is where Alpaca Expeditions is and we had to cross a police barricade to get to the tour office and now they're literally like blocking people. I don't know, there's a protest going on or something like that. So I don't know how we're gonna get back to the main square. Hopefully we'll be able to make our way there and then I don't know how we're gonna get picked up to get back to our hotel because our hotel is pretty far away. But anyway, 
anyway, we're really excited about the trek tomorrow. Our group looks really, really good. It's a good mix of people, Australians, Canadians, and Americans, and it's a relatively young group, I think. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So there's a police blockade here. And then there's like a SWAT team down there. So now we are in the main plaza and it is eerily quiet. There's usually a lot more people. The police are letting tourists through. We're clearly tourists. But um, locals, they're questioning and they're not allowing into some of these streets. So they're really confining locals to a certain area. So we are back at Greens Organic and we're going to be having the carrots with hummus again. So I got the same order as last time but it looks completely different. I got the quinoa soup and there seems to be a lot more herb in it. I got the lentils again but there's more of it this time and it's not as saucy or soupy. My hubby is trying the ravioli and that looks delicious so I can't wait to try it that. I also ordered the avocado smoothie and again it looks completely Completely different. I think they gave me a pineapple banana concoction, but I didn't say anything because it still tastes really good. And my hubby got the same smoothie as last time.